What is up YouTube? This is Taylor Massey from Everything Under the Sun and today I'm going to be showing you guys uh, how to do hair simulation in Blender 2.5. I'm going to show you guys uh, how to do the dynamics on air and yeah, it's pretty simple so I'll get started. Uh, first thing you need to do is add UV spheres, press space bar, add UV sphere. I'm going to make it smooth over here. And uh, go to your uh, material editor first and let's add two materials. Uh, the first material will be whatever color you want your object to be and then the next material will make uh, whatever color we want our hair to be so we'll just make it a dark brown and then if you go over to your particles and click add normally it's on emitter which is something actually coming out but if you change it to hair you right off the bat get some really crazy hair uh, go down here to material and just change that to two so we get that nice dark color we picked earlier and uh, now there's a lot of different things you can do. You can adjust the hair length here, so let's just turn that down a bit. And you can also, um, this doesn't look very thick, not very full. So you can go down to children here and turn on to simple. And that means for every uh, one regular uh, particle there is, it's going to make 10 um, different particles that copy the geometry and the physics of the parent. So the reason that's good is that it looks realistic and when you render it out it looks really full uh, in comparison but it doesn't have the same problems as when you would just increase the amount of particles because that can give you some serious lag. So we have our little ball here. I think I'm gonna go up here and turn the um, length down just a bit so we have our little ball here it's looking pretty sweet um, and but if you pr run the animation or render it out it's just this static hair it has no physics so you have to enable this hair dynamics button you can change a lot of things here like the stiffness and the friction and uh, the quality of how how well it's going to do the things it's going to do so um, if you press alt a you can see the animation run and you can see it falls just like realistic hair would it kind of poofs out this is just like if you had hair growing on a ball if you had a body underneath it would rest on the shoulders and do everything just like you would expect uh, but another thing we can do is we can add wind which is a thing that happens a lot in animations is most of the time they're not just sitting there in a static room their hair is just not standing there so go down press shift a and go to force field wind uh, we'll move this over here, press Rx and rotate it on this axis and go over to the physics tab and you can turn up the strength a little bit. So now when you press Alt A, it's going to fall but it's also going to kind of go to the side there because it's got that constant wind. Uh, but another way we can make this even more nice is by turning up the noise quite a bit. So let's turn the noise up to say 7. So what that does is that makes it more like gusts of wind so it's not just going to be 100% always blowing just straight it's just going to be this nice nice little bursts in and out of waves of wind and it's, it's looking pretty nice so that's how to add the wind if you want to add wind to your hair um, basically the only way you can make hair look more realistic is by changing the material types uh, which I already showed you how to do um, also you can turn up the steps on the quality when it's doing the hair dynamics if your animations aren't looking right and the only way to make thicker hair is by either turning up the emission amounts or turning up the children amounts uh, basically knowing these you can do pretty much anything you want to do um, in one of these um, it's really nice the new blender 2.85 is a lot easier than the older versions with hair and how everything works and yeah just thought i'd let you guys know that if you guys have any questions or suggestions for future videos just let us know thanks